Greetings and welcome to the channel on the Shotgun Shogun. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're not new here, well, welcome back. On today's quick character guide, we will be breaking down Bronya and get your mind out of the gutter. But before we get to that, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter to win some free summons. This five-star wind unit is one of the most sought after support characters in the game, boasting a top tier spot on almost every tier list available, but does she stack up? So what are the stats? While Ting Yun has the speed, Bronya has the bulk. 1,241 HP puts her above both Asta and Ting Yun. 582 attack also on the top. The 533 defense absolutely blows both of her competitors out of the water, but she is slow as dirt with 99 speed. Granted, 99 speed is not slow, but when compared to Asta and that fluffy tail fox girl, she might as well be a snail. So we broke down the stats, but does she have the skills to pay the bills? Basic attack is your normal 50 to 110% attack. Actually, does anybody not have this range? Let me know in the comments. Skill combat redeployment. Here it is, boys. Not only does this dispel a debuff, but it also advances forward their action by 100% and increases the target's damage by 36 to 79% for one turn. What more could you want in a skill? Oh, some attack up? Well, her ultimates got you covered. 36 to 64% increased attack, but wait... There's more, it also increases crit damage by 12 to 17% of Bronya's crit damage, plus 12 to 21% for two turns. If that combo doesn't lay waste to everything in your wake, I don't know what will. Her talent leading the way advances her forward 15 to 33% on a basic attack, meaning she will be cycling faster even with her slow base speed. And her technique increases all attack by 15% or two turns upon entering battle. If you thought all of that was pretty crazy good, just wait. Traces, command gives Bronya 100% crit on her basic attack, which is actually her only attack. So she effectively has 100% crit chance on all of her damaging abilities, meaning that you can stat her crit damage without worrying about crit chance. And that crit damage spills over onto her ultimate. This is going to make her very, very interesting to build. Battlefield, at the start of battle, all allies defense is increased by 20% for two turns and military might just makes everybody do 10% more damage. Yeah, that's just for being there. That's right. So not only is she going to be giving everybody 10% damage, but she's going to be absolutely turning one of your DPS units into an absolute monster. Surely with this overtuned, absolutely bonkers kit, her Eidolons will most likely be not that great to balance things out, right? E1... Using Bronya's skill has a 50% chance of recovering one skill point. Okay, not bad. E2. After the ally targeted by Bronya's skill takes an action, their speed is increased by 30% for one turn, meaning they will be lapping and clapping even harder than before. E3 is just your skills. E4. Take by surprise. After an ally uses a basic attack on an enemy with wind weakness, Bronya immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target, dealing 80% of her attack damage. Thankfully, this can only be triggered once per turn, or this would be absolutely broken. E5, you guessed it, more skills. And last but not least, E6, the ally damage boost effect of Bronya's skill extends its duration by one turn. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. A super lackluster Eidolon. The reason this sucks so bad is because you will never need the extra turn because everything will already be dead. Absolute waste. Okay, so what gear do you slam on this absolute monster? Eagle of Twilight line is going to be very tasty on her as not only does it increase her wind damage for those fat basic attacks, but it is going to push her forward after using her ultimate 
or more lapping and clapping, you will want to focus on crit damage followed by a mix of damage and support stats. Her great base stats do make her naturally tanky, allowing you for more flexibility of stat priorities. For planetary ornaments, you have, in my opinion, really two options. Fleet of the Ageless if you want to forego the extra damage on her basic attack and instead further buff the team's attack, or if you want to increase her overall damage, you can go with Space Stealing Station. For Light Cones, the battle isn't over will be the best in slot as after she pushes someone forward, they will have the increased 30 to 60% damage. Additionally, it will not only increase her energy regeneration, but will allow for a skill point regen after her ultimate, allowing her to ult into her skill and being net even on skill points for the pushed unit to take advantage of. However, if that's not an option, Carve the Moon or Chorus are also additional options with Planetary Rendezvous if you are running a mono element team. Overall, this unit is absolutely insane and 100% earns her spot on any tier list. She can be brought into almost any situation and giga juice your DPS to insane levels of damage. Her 100% crit chance on her basic attack allows you a very high level of flexibility in your gearing while also outputting large amounts of damage herself. Her bulky base stats also give her staying power in fights. Picture this, if you will. A Sele sandwiched between a fluffy tail fox and a Bronya. No, not like that, you degenerates. In the game, in a battle, you have your team speed tuned so that your Ting Yun goes first. She buffs the Sele with her ultimate into her skill, providing damage increase plus attack increase. Plus energy, Sele takes a turn using her skill, and then it's immediately followed up by Bronya, who uses her ultimate, increasing attack further as well as crit damage. Then she pushes Sele up with her skill, further increasing her damage, as well as her light cone, even further increasing that damage. You rip your ultimate into the boss, and then you take a picture to share on Discord and Reddit. You made it. You won the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you going to build this unit? Are you going to build this unit? How many fan fictions, doujins, and fan art do you think will be made of this unit? Let me know. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Person who made it to the end of this video. Do you like free stuff? I do. And that is why I'm going to give you some free stuff. That's right, if you take a look down in the description, you'll find a link to a sign up for a giveaway. We will be doing bi-weekly giveaways, so make sure you head down there and sign up to get a chance to potentially win some gift cards that we will be giving out that you can use on Honkai Star Rail. As always, if you guys like this content, like, fave, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy, homies. Peace out.